Hey my friends, welcome back. Yeah, as you can see, today's video, I'm gonna paint another large seascape. Your favorite topic. So, before we start to paint the water, my favorite part, I know, um, just some, yeah, a little information about how to paint the clouds in this painting here. Um, yeah, I'm doing this alla prima, without any underpainting so far. Um, yeah, remix the colors before. Um, just putting them in side by side, and you see, color difference is not uh, not that strong. So you, yeah, basically have to rework sometimes the color itself. I'm doing here right now. As you can see here, um, yeah, getting some more white to this mixture we had before premixed on the right side of the painting. We, yeah. Basically, to do the same more or less, um, building up those clouds, putting the colors side by side. Um, also, kind of letting the clouds float away to the background color. Yeah, and then I'll go back and grab some lighter color and rework those clouds in some areas. As you can see here. Yeah, just adding some some more volume to it. Yeah, you know we. Finally, start to build up the first layer of color for the water part. And you can also see again that I'm really trying to, yeah, kind of fill up the um, canvas structure here as best as possible. If you would like to see the full-time version of this video here, then check out my Patreon link somewhere down below here. If you have this video in a version over 10 hours of pure painting including all the color mixing process, all the necessary materials, check it out. Therefore, I spent quite some time on um, yeah, applying those colors, adding some details here and there, um, yeah, already fitting in those rocks as best as possible. Still using the yeah, still wet um, color from the blue of the water, as you can see here. Basically, very, yeah, kind of detailed um, pre-painting first layer of color. I usually don't do it um, this detailed, but I really thought uh, in this case it's easier to yeah to, to do it first a bit more detailed. Then um, yeah, I don't have to spend too much time. Yeah, later on. Um, yeah, reworking the whole thing again. Uh, yeah, it's basically kind of a, a very rough. No, not really rough, but some areas are rough, rougher. Yeah, estimation of the of the rocks, of the water, and you might wonder now, what is he doing here? And when you squint your eyes, when you press them together, you get the idea um, how I came this way. Um, just by yeah, looking at the reference photo and yeah, squinting the eyes and really trying to yeah, get in just the first, the, the rough impression. Yeah, then I let the whole thing try and start to yeah, build up now the second layer. Yeah, mixing colors in between, as you can see here. Um, all kinds of variations um, from the first set of colors that we still had here on the palette. Um, yeah, due to the, to the flat uh, nature of the paint on the painting itself, the color dried pretty quick. And luckily, we <laughs> the color on the palette didn't dry as quick. So, yeah, could just go back and grab some the remaining color um, and the work it more or less. And you see I'm just kind of flashing it out. Again, first a bit rough, more or less. Getting in lighter colors first, then you know the darker color. Kind of yeah, flashing it out, making it a bit more 3D. It's yeah, it starts to look like waves, but 
Yeah, the details are missing completely. Therefore, I go back, grab a very flat brush, start to build up those yeah, white water parts that we have here. And when I yeah, did those first patches, I grab another, even smaller brush. You can see this one here. Yeah, very small, flat, round brush and start to yeah, add even more details to the to the waves that are coming in and yeah, adding the dry brush technique, more and more details. And then I start to add the details to the uh, splashing water part, as you can see here. Again, with a very soft, very fine flat brush, kind of stippling them on. And here I'm extending this um, white water part, again with a very dry brush. I mean, of course, it's quite a dry brush technique, but um, yeah, really make sure that you don't put in um, too much color on the brush. This will really uh, kind of make it look um, not so realistic. You really have to yeah, be aware of the amount of color you have on the brush. Um, use just yeah, a tiny bit. Um, same goes for this area here. See, I'm just refining areas. I think uh, I need some more darker, lighter color. And here's some, some more details. As you can see here, some more splashing waves here. Splashing water parts. Yeah, also kind of remixing the color constantly. Um, darker, in this case, lighter colors. As you can see, I'm going back and forth, um, adjusting the colors, remixing them. Yeah, trying to get in just those um, splashes behind the, the rock here. And I also try to yeah, build up the volume that we have here. Same goes for this area here. The yeah, waves that are coming in, more or less. The very yeah, small ones that we have here. There's some white foam parts in front of them. And the rocks basically yeah, go the same. Um, yeah, I've spent quite some time on um, yeah, building up the first layer. Therefore, I don't have to go back and rework the whole thing. I yeah, just rework some areas. Yeah, and then I step in and yeah, put on those reflections, those yeah, little water drops that we have here. Yeah, they need to be placed such a jiggly uh, on the edges, more or less. Giving some flesh color, some more yellowish, yeah, reddish tones here. Flashing out the edges a bit more. Yeah, this is the nice thing when you when the first layer of color is yeah already dry completely. You can really yeah go back and yeah go crazy <laughs> about the details more or less. Same goes with the yeah splashing wave part and this yeah behind those box here. Yeah, we basically have some water kind of exploding behind those rocks here. And there's also some um, <clears throat> there's some reflections from the shadow areas in there. Basically the areas where the rocks need to be a bit a bit more um, bluish, a bit more lighter. Same with for the water, just adding yeah, hints of detail here and there. You know, I'm yeah, mixing a very thin, yeah, whitish, bluish color. And I guess you know what's coming, of course. I'm grabbing a very stiff brush, covering the lower end of the painting and starting to kind of yeah, sprinkle very fine 
ja, Water Dots onto this yeah, area here. As you can see, um, did work, but I yeah, also had to go back and grab some fan brush. You can see here. Also, a very stiff one. I think a hot brush is it. Yeah, again, um, I think some more different yeah, layers of flashes that we have here. Um, using, yeah, mainly or very often just the edge, as you can see here. And with, the, with just one um, dab, you get in a yeah, lot of details. And this is a yeah, very convenient brush for this kind of work here. Yeah, you know, we are working on the front part, this, yeah, water coming in and some more details on the rocks, you can see here. There's the details on the rocks and then, um, yeah, again, adding some, yeah, some of these reflections here. Um, I really try to yeah, show the viewer that those rocks are basically wet. This, uh, that's my intention of doing so. And then I sometimes I even go back and start to rework the the, the wave parts. You can see here, getting some 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 more layers of waves in there uh, with the dry brush technique. I think even more some some splashes, some details. Yeah, the same goes for the for the front part here. With a, yeah, flat brush, adding those first um, detail parts. Sometimes going back, um, softening them down. Then I grab a soft round brush and start to yeah, kind of put it in these um, additional um, splashes that we have here. See here, just a bit lighter than the background bluish color, and that's yeah, basically all you need to yeah to make it uh, look like yeah splashing water, more or less. It's a, yeah, again just kind of a reworking in some areas, not all those areas, but yeah, just strategically adding some more. Bits and pieces here and there, some, some more details, some more splashes, darker colors from the water, lighter colors from the water. Yeah, not to distract um, too much. I yeah, just put in some foam in the foreground, as you can see here. This bluish color for the dark areas and this a bit lighter one. I'm stippling and kind of sliding on. Um, see, there are even some even smaller uh, lines here and there, but still with a bigger brush um, to make it look uh, just more realistic, more detailed, more uh, like this yeah, kind of foamy um, part that we have here. Yeah, that's the finished painting. So, that's it for today, but before you leave, make sure you hit that subscribe button, that like button, and yeah, see you next time, bye!